back. Hitakane was amazing to start out in 2.0. Here today, we got to get to sub number one. And number two, we're continuing on with the Both main friends. story. Enjoy this full reaction playthrough. If you want to watch more Hawkeye Star Rail and other things live, come to twitch.tv slash duck TV. I've been live for 200 days straight, and that's not a joke. If you don't believe me, click the first link down below. Before we get into the playthrough, I figured it'd be kind of fun to spend some money. Let's just try to get Acheron. I want to get at least another Gallagher con in here too. Hask. Oh. Light work. No reaction. I mean, did I doubt? <laughs> no. The devil in velvet. I would look pretty good in velvet. Well, well, well. Hello there. Somebody's in my bedroom, huh? I know what you are. All right, let's get into it. Ah, oh, friend. My expression wasn't much better than yours when I first saw this. Your Dude, I feel so happy being back. You. It's her. The famous singer, Robin. She got shish kebobbed. How is that possible? Could Robin actually? Well, first of all, can I just say that this had nothing to do with me? Sure. I'm buddy. just an unlucky bystander here. I actually believe that. The family can testify for me. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone in the Bloodhound family. They hate me and they hate the IPC. So they'd never lie. This is not where the crime happened. What I showed you was a memory. The most basic light cone manifesting tech. <gasps> light cone. by the Garden of Recollection and owned by the IPC. Did you really think the Galaxy Rangers were outsiders this whole time? Pentagoni <laughs> has made a solemn commitment to protect the safety of anyone inside a family dream. Any person in distress will be forcibly awakened and safely returned to reality. Dude, the vibes of Pinnacone are just so good. You see, I even forgot like how fun this is to be around this place. Just taking a short break. What gives them the confidence to make so such mysterious. conclusive statements? Because behind this promise is the harmony. The family's dream weavers link up their minds together to construct an unbreakable defensive line. Breaking through this line of defense to create death in the dreamscape. <laughs> Not even a memo keeper could do that without the family's permission. I just noticed this earring. How have I never noticed your little dangly earring? Who could have done it, friend? The only one is her. The girl who calls herself a galaxy ranger. An imposter. Among us. An unsought guest. An emanator who hides her true identity. I don't even think she knows her identity, the buddy. I don't think she knows. Clearly from her trailer and her demo. Eifert's death was a foregone conclusion. And Robin? Her misfortune was staring right at her. Who will be the next to die? This really is hard to take in. It's just one side of the story. If that's the case, I can't trust anyone. I can't trust anyone, but if Black Swan comes on to me, I can make an exception. Sorry, I said what I said. It's fine. Listen to your gut. Building trust always takes time. And I'm willing to wait. He wants us so bad. <laughs> I just hope you realize that wherever that legacy is concerned, covert plans are already underway throughout Panacone. Everyone's got their own agenda. Careful you don't get stuck on the wrong side. If I were you, I'd keep my distance from Acheron. After all, any schemes out in the open are always going to be better than a monster in the shadows. Right? Hmm. Any schemes out in the open are always going to be better than monsters in the shadows. Hmm. What to Who's make to of this? There isn't an even <gasps> deeper conspiracy lurking beneath the surface. She's right. I don't know what she's talking about, but she's right. Memo Keeper, I think our little deal is finished. She's Aventurine beautiful. Aventurine is telling the truth. This memory is a real one, and there's no sign of any distortion grafting on. The IPC is not the Garden, and there are real limits to what they can actually do. But you know all this. Friend, let's not beat around the bush here. The thing is, I want to reach out personally to team up with the Astral Express. He's so zesty. I love that about him. Look at his posture. <laughs> I told you, I'm just not interested in scrambling for the legacy. 
I just came to Pentagony for work. I'm here to retrieve some lost property for the IPC, if you catch my drift. I'm talking ownership of this frontier prison. IPC always be looking to claim land. This has all become a bad debt thanks to the cancer of all worlds. Stella wrong. The IPC has tried sitting down for negotiations time and again, but the family wouldn't even take our calls. Don't say duck after some apple teenies. I do not turn into him after apple teenies. You have no right? idea how no way. difficult these people are to deal with. Put it this way. They've hushed up the existence of death before, so they can definitely cover up any news about Robin's death. Can we bring up Firefly? That's my whole thing is Firefly. I did it. I did the C6S1 Acheron. How much did it cost you? What did it cost? It'll just quietly float off like a bubble and pop. Nobody ever being the wiser. That's not fair, right? So then, friend friend i need your help i can't trust you i got something going on right i got this other thing going on right now <laughs> kind of i have but only one goal the family's front door is like a high wall and to tear the whole thing down i'll have to dig out a few chunks first once i find a weak point the ipc will have plenty of means now we have our chance so long as we can get to the truth behind her death, we can have justice for Robin. <laughs> While also gaining a valuable bargaining chip for bringing the family to the table. Hmm. Truly a once in a blue moon opportunity. I've been investigating and making lots of friends all over Panacone precisely for this very moment. Black Swan just watching. This tragic news would be extremely bad for the family. Rolls. Holy. So they'll be doing everything they can to stop it leaking, especially to the IPC. But I trust that there are still a few factions that remain exceptions. And that's why I need you all. The reputation of the Astral Express precedes you. And the Harmony will give you the fairest of appraisals. You get to find out really what happened and seek justice. And I get to put it toward completing my mission for the IPC. It's what you call a win-win situation. Scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. You lube me up, I lube you up. You want to take advantage of the family's trust in us. The nameless would never associate with the IPC. A decision like this is way above my pay grade. Let's go with the first one. Don't worry, one. just head back and talk things over with your companions. That navigator is really smart. She must understand the value of this deal. Look, here's my contact details. If you come to any conclusions, call me. Don't get comfortable, by the way, chat. We're all thinking about Firefly and Robin, the mystery behind that. Don't get comfortable. What if something happens to Himiko or somebody else in the crew? Oh, and that's still a big problem. A thorough investigation can always use a little more fun. Nobody's safe. Don't mention it. <gasps> Money? So long, friend. I really am looking forward to uncovering the truth about death with everyone. He gave me his phone number and some cash. A venturing just sauntered off. He really doesn't mean to force it, but something still seems off. He seems scared to what me. Now? What are your plans? I don't dislike him. I think he's got good heart. He's just scared of something. Black Swan. What is she thinking? I know what I'm thinking. Butter. That's all I'm gonna say. Saw a video of Acheron's voice actor calling Adventuring a gay little nightmare. <laughs> gay little nightmare is crazy. On the surface, this doesn't look like a bad deal for you. But Adventuring is a so good merchant whose scheme won't just be as simple as it appears to be. Good voice acting. He doesn't know about Miss Firefly yet. But judging by your reaction, he may have noticed something going on and deliberately shifted topics to the truth of death to try and pull you in line with his way of thinking. The truth of death. That's quick thinking and very sound logic. Aventurine is no fool and working with him definitely has its dangers. I don't get negative vibes from him though, but again, I also trusted you before I knew you were hired. The nameless cannot turn a blind eye to evil, but for Firefly's sake, we must get to the bottom of all this. That's what I'm saying. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 evil, blah, blah, blah. I love Firefly. Can I toss a die to let this side for me? Wait, that's funny. <laughs> Leaving it up to fate. 
just how that gambler thinks. <laughs> gotcha players be like. Anyway, be careful out there. There's more than one way to blaze a trail. In a dark forest beset by wolves, ensuring your own escape to safety should be your primary concern. As for the other questions. Did death kill Robin? Is there any firefly things I can ask? I'm not sure the two cases were committed by the same culprit, but that massive wound looked like, like a wind its winged blade. blade. We've all witnessed it in action uh. before. Plus, it seems unlikely that there would be two lethal entities loose in the dreamscape. Surely not. Do you think this is connected to Acheron? Sorry, I can't answer that question. That ranger is shrouded in mystery. I'm afraid no one is capable of providing an answer. She's like, don't tango with her. Don't you dare do the tango with her. But without a doubt, Not even the cha -cha. she's the most special guest at this banquet. It's like a Venturine said just then. It's best to keep your distance from her. She damn learned real fast. Have you noticed anything else unusual? Two victims appearing one after the other in a very short time span. In and of itself, that's very unusual. Two possibilities. The collapse of Panacone's dreamscape has started speeding up. Making death extremely agitated and weakening the family's protections. Or everything has been planned out and executed by someone. If someone has chosen these victims deliberately, first a smuggler, then a family celebrity, then this murderer's motives are worth thoroughly chewing over. Over. I don't have any other questions. It's all happened so quickly, I can only make conjecture. After leaving here, go have a chat with your companions. I okay. hope you can clarify the source of this confusion. They're just building this mystery up even more, man. We really just truly really don't know anything about anybody. That's what I'm getting out of all that conversation here. But, I mean, furthering do we trust adventuring? That's the biggest question. Come this ah! way. Oh. It's a short walk. Don't get lost. That first word. <laughs> this way. This is where we part ways. No. All of this is like a nightmare. Parting ways with you is a nightmare. Unfortunately, the remembrance doesn't lie. What we just saw is the reality that happened. And it won't fade from our minds just because we wake up. But follow your heart and don't be afraid. We all walk through this world casting shadows of different lengths. And ultimately, all we leave behind are precious memories. Ah, hold on just a sec. Black Swan gently touches the root of your ear, leaving a cool sunset. There you go. A small parting gift. If one day you unfortunately fall into the deep waters of the memory zone, and there's no memo keeper to join you, hopefully it can guide you on my behalf. Why are your hips so wide, bro? Her hips are like a fucking double wide truck. I also pay great attention to the ways of the world. Just think of this as an apology from me for hiding something from you. Accepted, forgiven. Then, I have something private to take care of regarding that Galaxy Ranger. Let's leave things there. Shall what fascinating memories will you bring for me next time we meet? I sincerely look forward to them. She could ruin my life, and I don't mean that in like the, oh, ruin me situation. Like, I would genuinely get into bad scenarios because of this individual. I would genuinely make my life go into downfall and spiral because she told me to. Duck, you still at the hotel dreamscape? Duck, duck. You run into trouble? Got separated in the memory zone. I felt so antsy. Help, March, stay calm. Do I need to get off the express and help? Not at the moment, sure, just let me know if you need me. They probably thought I died. Sorry about what happened to Firefly. Don't say her name, it's too soon, man. So much has happened. I should take a moment to gather my thoughts and wait for everyone to arrive. Some time ago, deep in memory zone. Perish that blade now, Ranger. Oh, man. Do you? Still dream hunter of those slain by your hand. Oh my god. <sighs> Days ago, Everflame Mansion. 
See, my theory is that Sparkle somehow fucked with this, that Duke Inferno's not actually dead. Sparkle turned into the entire Stellaron Hunter crew for the, the demo. Maybe she was also playing the role as the bad guys. It appears the outcome has already been determined. You're still alive, as are you. You still have room to make a choice. Leave the music box behind, and then go. Leave the music box. Choice. The bloody trail of the destruction leaves no room for hesitation. The Taurus Fire Demon. Even if you sacrifice your life for that eon, you won't get special treatment. Ranger, you'll tread the narrow path of the hunt. You could never understand. We come from the fire, and are born bathed in fire. We spread, burn, and destroy, until all the kindling has burned out and we leave only ashes on the ground. Tough life, bro. Burning forms the entire life of a fire demon. From the beginning to the end. We are born to die, just to put into practice a profile of another universal truth. All things are created for the destruction. Hmm, let him cook. Your companions don't seem to think so. They fight for your chance at survival. Now what came of them? They are my children, and just as I was. They are flames that have yet to burn white heart. They're still young and I don't believe them. But my flames are faint. And time is running out. Can you see the planet of festivities in the distance? I plan to bring purgatory with me there. And before that... I must surpass you. I plan to bring purgatory with me there. Why? Because on the path they have forged, you have traveled farther than I have. What does that even mean? On the path that they have forged, you travel for the Am I a have I been has Akron been abused by a path of Pinacone? The path that they have forged. Emanator. Has she been wrong by them already? <sighs> you cannot hide your true identity. Eminator. Draw that sword, for we shall indeed remain. Oh, here, they means Aeons. Bow to fight a decisive battle to the death, for I choose this. But he doesn't know who he's fighting, though. That's the thing. Destruction is intense, but brief. To cravenly cling to life is to endure an endlessly prolonged existence. Even if the answer turns out to be your own destruction? What is important is not the answer, but that it exists just as you exist. Everything exists to be destroyed. Emanators are no different. Just as even sweet dreams may be born of the void, the so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. Dude. <sighs> All right, I accept. Like, no, no reaction. She's not even concerned. You shall witness the most brilliant and intense fire <laughs> in existence. May this flame illuminate the farthest reaches of your bottomless dream. But she doesn't even have the sword unsheathed. It's just like, so he's still cornered with his sheath. I don't know how this is going to go for you, man. A bottomless dream. Yes, that's right. But you've made one small mistake. 
This blade remains in its scabbard not out of pity or scorn. It's a personal secret that I don't want to disclose, but perhaps out of reciprocity. Oh. Uh, she says this as her hand gently rests on the hilt of the sword. I'll reveal the truth to you. The hunt is not the path I truly follow. Huh? May death be the end of your boundless dream, guiding you back to the waking world. The line. I still see them in my dreams. Oh seven, 7 Duke Inferno. Hold it. Your time hasn't come yet. <laughs> Sam, you get to live. You get to be a playable character. My time. Why do you sound so pensive there? I've seen many clever disguises that can conceal appearances, but they can never cover up who a person really is. And you're no different. Mm-hmm. You had no desire to kill the Trailblazer. You only did what you did to drive me and the Memo Keeper away, but why? Did oh, Destiny's slave make you do it? You know, Elito. I thought this is just the kind of thing that'd get written into your script. She's very familiar with the hunters. My script has always been brief. Other than that, anything beyond that is unnecessary. He knows my nature. There is but a single destiny from which no one can escape. And until then, I hold the privilege of choice. However, you appear to be ignorant of this. So it's time for me to inquire. Who exactly are you? Again, I don't think she knows. <laughs> She's trying to remember. Not your enemy, perhaps. She's so cold, that's one thing. She's just fucking ice cold. That's not what I asked. I don't deserve your curiosity. Loners wandering the cosmos always have their secrets. Take me. I'm wanted by the IPC, so it's little wonder that I know something about the Stellaron Hunters. That's all. Maybe I can help. What reason help? would you have for doing that? I tend to forget things. Which is well, there why... You go. Rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. So. She really does forget. I know who is inside that cold armor. Oh! <gasps> ah! Ah! How about it? Ready to take off that armor and sit down for a talk? I'm clenching. It's not yet. Is it what I think it is? I don't need help, but I can give you a suggestion that would make things better for you and me. Hold on. Let me cook something here. Sam. Oh my god. Oh my. It's been there all along. Did he just spell fire flea? I, <laughs> I forgot. It is a why. If your goal is the watchmaker's <laughs> legacy, then go look into the family. Not only are they covering up the existence of death, but they're burying the past. <laughs> And the truth about what happens inside the dreamscape. Sunday is going to be a part of the biggest problem. I think he's one of the worst guys here. Already on it. And the Astral Express is no enemy of yours. I think, this, I think Sunday is going to end up being one of the absolute most dastardly characters in this arc. I know that. I just never expected to hear you say it. What's next then? Uh, the trailblazer's them, huh? been taken by Black Swan. Will you go look for him? No need for that. It's looking bad. No harm in mentioning that Elio's only given me one instruction. Get all of the Astral Express to track down the, the Grand, Grand Legacy. Legacy. 
I tried settling this in an easier and more direct way. But as you can see, here I am, confronting you. I failed. Oh, uh, that's confirming go it. against the script. I tried settling this in an easier, more direct way. You were just Firefly, trying to like win over the Trailblazer, figure it all out with them. But now, because you showed up, we had to fight. The so-called impossible right? is merely something that has yet to happen. I don't know how the, the meme plays into all this. That's it. Before we split, can I ask you one more thing? Is there anything else in your script about me? I. I'd like to know what kind of footnote I get to leave in that. Why is it red? Foreseen by destiny. Unfortunately, not a thing came up. <laughs> I knew it. Not a thing came up kind of worries me a little bit. Hang on. I don't. Don't what? Your first question was, do you still have dreams about everyone who died because of you? I don't. Never have. Just don't think about it. I was born without the ability to dream. I live for this cold, harsh reality. For a little light and to burn. To keep on burning until I turn to ash. This voice work job is immaculate. So, I really envy you. Wow. Is that so? I don't know, man. Then you're already living in the waking world. There's so much I can't get my mind around. Sam is so deep. I feel like this has got to confirm our theories, right? Present day golden hour. We heard about Miss Firefly from Black Swan. But we never expected Miss Robin to... That was such an important scene. There's still so much. It's like theorized. I don't know, man. Oh, I'm sorry that I couldn't be with you then. Reality cruises on in serenity while undercurrents bubble up from the dreamscape. Just like that memo keeper said. Stay strong, everyone. We can still do what we can for them. Starting with finding the murderer. Who done it? Let's recap everything then. The meme. The trailblazer just reminded me of something. March, do you remember? I'm gonna have to fight that, that thing again. Negotiated with us said. Uh, indeed, we trust that the nameless has nothing to do with this, and we also beg each of you to help assist the family in verifying the identity of the deceased. Uh, that's how it was put. In reference to Miss Firefly. Looking back, he seemed a little evasive at the time. And he also failed to mention anything about the earlier murder, too. The family's planning on covering up all news about Miss oh. Robin's death. Who would have guessed? If news gets out, Penacony's going to turn into a bloodbath. But the murder that followed closely after was obviously beyond their anticipation. The family had to try and turn things to their advantage by bringing in reinforcements from outside. The Charmony Festival is nearly here. They must be snowed under. It may also be that Miss Firefly's murder had so many witnesses that it couldn't be covered up. So they went with the flow and let more people on the scene to control the situation. Firefly's murder was like in an isolated space, I thought, though. After all... The nature of the two murders is fundamentally different. The family's first protective measure should be against malicious actors among the guests, such as that IPC envoy. He's really up to no good. Adventuring's on guard against Acheron. Indeed. He was particularly concerned about that galaxy range. Yeah, I would be too, bro. You know, she's the only character that can destroy enemies in the overworld without starting a combat initiative. It's crazy. Are 
we missing the forest for the trees here? I always felt that Aventurine's reasons for accusing Miss Acheron were highly subtle. Can we believe him? <laughs> she was like, I thought he was just an angry gay man. Like, but maybe he, <laughs> maybe he's got good reason to be mad. Like. At this point, I'm afraid the only ones we can trust are ourselves. Look. Let's try to gather intel first and then list all the possible outcomes we can. Surely. Then we go through them, eliminating contradictions one by one. The fewer facts remaining, the closer we are to the truth. You imagine we get to the end of the quest. March 7th, like, stabs us in the back. Like, stabs Himiko in the, in the, in the side. That'd be crazy. The only ones we could trust are ourselves. I've can still we? still got this sense of foreboding. It's like we're stuck in a whirlpool. It spinning around that legacy even after everything that's happened uh, this time we're playing the role of a real detective but before we start what are we going to say to the family and adventuring as i see things the family harbors no ill will towards the astral express if they didn't trust the crew they wouldn't have casually commissioned outsiders to investigate a case that's in all likelihood a scandal true plus this is the family's turf. Teaming <laughs> up with them should make things easier for us in the future. Mars stabbing us, doing a whopping 3k damage. <laughs> Good one, mana. Good one. As for that aventurine, well, I'd like to hear your thoughts. <laughs> He's complex. <laughs> He deliberately slow played his hand during negotiations while running circles around us all the while. He appealed convincingly to both reason and emotion. It wasn't forced, but the intent was obvious. Still, it's good to have contacts among all this uncertainty. Adventurine showed his skills, and as far as our interests are aligned, he can become a reliable ally. I think Adventurine is one of the most trustworthy guys, funny enough. We also need to keep a certain distance from the family. Never let them get too close. I don't trust the fucking family. The IPC helps balance that out. Yeah, let's talk about Sparkle. Side makes a move, we have the option to pull out. Pull up. I never. All right. Anyways, next, next, next line. So you suggest accepting Aventurine's proposal to team up? Ah. Uh, yes. It's risky, but we can only wait until both sides. I trust their Clocky before making any further judgments. Real. I get why, but oh, why? there's a whole lot of bad guys and girls around here, and I'm worried about getting stabbed in the back. He's been bullied a few times now, and I can't stand it anymore. It's fine. Let's focus on the big picture. It's fine. I got a lot of them, too. It's cool. You can bully me whenever. Uh, you? No, I can't accept this. Uh, forget about it. Just let me keep an eye on him. If that doesn't work, we can just turn the tables and use him instead. Then, could you please reply to Aventurine? Everyone, take this time to put together your thoughts. Okay, let's hit him up. Hey, hey girly, you up? <laughs> We've decided to accept your request for collaboration. Aventurine responds back, wonderful. Your response came faster than I expected. From now on, We'll all be in this together. Here's a small something for our upcoming partnership. 100,000 credits! That's it? Only 100k? That goes by in a day. Give me another 100k, rich boy. <laughs> what? Oh. He actually... He stood on business. 200k credits just as i anticipated the family is going to sweep robin's case under the rug for as long as they can so her case is only secret between us but the other case that depends on what excuses they have prepared for you guys i'll take my leave now and i look forward to outstanding performance from you guys suck him dry is a crazy response to getting 200k it looks like aventurine is happy with this outcome if you get 200k for somebody what Let's do you do chat about it. be honest Someone goes, I have 200k right here. What's your response? Oh, my dream is right before my eyes. Have you considered the majestic hall of art? We're all gonna die. I hope it's not too soon to bring it up. But Can we talk about Firefly? I feel like Miss Robin isn't actually dead. But that she's still alive and well. Somewhere. But everything's just some horrible prank. 
Because... Aren't we supposed to be inside a dream? How could someone die in a beautiful dreamscape like this? Shouldn't only good things happen here? <sighs> Whenever I see the Grand Theater, I just can't stop all these thoughts from flooding my head. Do you think the family's behind all of this? We'll restore all the dreams back to normal. Yeah, of course. At times like this, we're so lucky to have our crew. The family and the IPC. Everyone has their own plans going on. Everyone's still having a great time out there on the streets. Nobody knows what's happened. Aw, what a mess. I really want a nice cool drink of soda to help me calm down. <sighs> Get us a pop. But then I'd be just like everyone else out on the streets. Everybody drinking coke on the streets, man. It's not cool. Avengerine's goal is to try and recapture Penacony for IPC. To do this, he'll have to bring down the family in its entirety to create a big enough chance. The existence of death will be covered up by the family. So how does he plan on taking them down? It's got to be something important enough that everyone will notice. But it also can't be anything too out in the open. Perhaps he's going for the hotel. Perhaps he's going for the family. Probably Acheron? Aventurine has devoted considerable attention to her. But this Galaxy Ranger... We know hardly anything about her. I can't rush to any conclusions. Perhaps he's going for the Express. Mm, I was also considering this possibility. Especially because he respects you so much and has sought you out before a few times. He just want me. Perhaps he's also unsure of your intentions and is probing you. An hotel? attack on the hotel guests? Unlikely. Unlikely. Pentecone's has nothing to do with it. Quite a few big wigs known throughout the whole cosmos. People who not even the IPC would dare take lightly. Aventurine is a shrewd merchant, and there's no way he doesn't know that. How about the family? I mean, it's gotta be the family. He's definitely going for the family. Yeah, that's for and sure. It's just a matter of how. The harmony is strong in Penacony, and almost impossible to take on head to head. I was thinking she says a little different. The IPC dispatched Aventurine shows that they do not intend to simply play by the book here. I feel like her voice does sound a little lower. But I feel like every time I listen to her, it sounds different than the last time. I'm like tricking myself. Maybe it's just we don't listen to her a whole lot. I'm just speculating. In any case, we have to be careful when handling Aventurine. He's skilled at reading people and discerning the right moment to strike. Also, he's clearly a born gambler. Yeah, who's just like to me. To win. Just like me. All right, Himiko does sound a little different to me, though. Welcome aboard. I'm Himiko, See? navigator of the Astral Express. I'm sure we're about to embark we're not crazy. on a fascinating journey together. We're not crazy. She sounds a lot lower toned and a lot slower. It w it does worry me that she sounds so different. Dude, is everybody Sparkle? It's March Sparkle. Himiko, there's only one way I can tell if you're an imposter or not. Kiss me right now. Aventurine said something that concerns me. He accused that Galaxy Ranger of killing Robin without any evidence whatsoever, but said nothing about her connection to that memory zone meme or why he was stalking you. It was a groundless accusation, which only serves to make him seem more suspicious. I think he wants to get rid of her no matter what. And the family. She, because she's a threat to everything, to the family, because they like, he wants to make it right for the IPC. But why though? Does Aventurine have other plans? She's bluffing. Maybe Aventurine's goal was never, never to gain, gain trust. trust. Maybe he wanted to foster a feeling of enmity towards Acheron and enmity. make the situation more volatile. Two birds, one stone. Something Sparkle would say, well. However, <laughs> I asked Don Hung back on the Express to confirm that story about the Annihilation Gang and the lost messages. It wasn't something that Aventurine made up out of thin air. You've met her many times now. What's your impression of Miss Acheron? 
she was like one of the first people I met on the way here. So she's a very gentle woman. She's a very mysterious woman. She's very powerful. Weird, I can't seem to remember. She's very powerful seeming. Weird, I can't seem to... Why is it in red? That fits the stereotype of a galaxy ranger to a T. Why is it in red? They're eccentric, unpredictable, and fond of being alone. Holding my head. No wonder she's a suspect. Looks like Adventurine doesn't need anything else. Let's turn our attention to the family's assignment for now. Himako, what do you think? Among our current clues, the two murders that he witnessed are the most directly connected. I suggest starting here. One thing I'm curious about is, if a person dies in a dream, what happens to them in real life? Seeing as we're at the family's behest, why not pop back out to reality and verify Miss Firefly's situation back at the hotel? Perhaps we could also make a few inquiries about her while out there. True. True. How about we split off into two groups? There are still some things worth focusing on inside the dreamscape. I'll investigate those and we can link up again later. I always get so nervous when we split up. Worth focusing on? Oh. No problem. I'll leave it to you then. Talking about Sparkle? What are you talking about? Huh? Aw, I thought I'd finally get to see Himeko and Mr. Yang like go out on a mission us. together. Oh well. Take care then, Mr. Yang. What if they're just edging us to the point in which Himeko dies and then they never get to go on a mission together? <laughs> I will. Which Keep is funny because they have a whole history together in the Hawkeye back third. Which I don't know what their history's like, but I know they do. What's up here? Hmm. Well, Honored guest, uh, could you come out for a second? Huh? Oh. Hey. <coughs> I'd be embarrassed too, getting stared at like that. Uh, forgive me. Uh, my name is Welt Yang. I'm one of the crew members on the Astral Express. I believe you've met my colleagues. Well. Did you that ring a bell? Does that ring a bell? Is there something about my name? First, don't you want to know my name? <laughs> I already do, Miss. <laughs> You're a prominent figure in Panacone. What are they saying about me? Only good things, don't worry. <laughs> Some claim that you're the real culprit and behind these murders. And that. that the Annihilation Gang's tragic fate at the banquet was a result of your blade. And that you're now attempting to unleash another bloodbath on Penicone. The Annihilation Gang. Ifrit of Everflame Mansion. Like, does she not know? Still? Tragic fate. That duke turned his dying body to flames and sacrificed his life to murder. He was a determined and heroic pathstrider. Not even a villain should be disparaged like this. And what's more, there were plenty of suspects invited. Do they really think that a blade is more dangerous than that black hole you're wielding? Oh. Uh keen intuition oh uh, not even the family managed to point out the truth behind this cane take a big gulp of water everybody big gulp here so you must surely know miss acheron that peering into a black hole is not a wise move as a potential threat your knowledge of us has reached uncomfortable depths reveal your true identity and intentions otherwise Brace yourself for gravitational disintegration. Pro Psych, get ready to have your ass ate by a black hole. I've that never seen this necessary. side of him. Yeah. But if it makes the nameless feel less defensive, I'll be happy to abide. Believe it or not, Galaxy Ranger, Acheron. Those are the names I go by to this very day. My trip to Panacone is solely to fulfill an old final request 
I'm here for the Watchmaker's legacy. And that's it. I think I've been honest enough. I think that is face value. Truth. Well, Still kind of scary. To reveal your true identity. I don't think she knows it though, man. It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I can't. I've come so far and I can't sum up all of that in just a few words. Everyone has their own unspeakable past. Secrets that they don't want to be revealed. And I won't be asking any more questions, such as why the Astral Express is roaming around the cosmos with a Stellaron on board. We have a Stellaron? Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> is he okay? That memo keeper didn't do anything, right? She loves me. She's caring He's about me. Fine. Let's stick with the topic. Gaining my trust all depends on how much you're willing to reveal. I've run around many different Panacone dreamscapes just to try and find that legacy. And during this period, I came into contact with quite a few guests. In the process, I gradually came to realize the secret of Panacone may be closely related to the Trailblaze. That's why I've come to ask for your help. I don't have enough proof yet, but I'd like to speculate something. The source, source of, of all tragedy, tragedy lies within, within the family. family. If you could if trust me, the family. we could find the proof to support this claim together. Source of all tragedy lies within the family. Sunday, you got a lot of answering to do. Mr. Yang, I think you've come to the same conclusion, haven't you? Let's leave it at that. For now, I'll choose to believe that you bear no hostility. Share your findings with me and me alone. I don't want vague conjecture to interfere with other people's judgments before we find solid proof. Dude, I like this side of Welt. I like the standing on business Welt. Mm -hmm. I want more of this. I want more of threatening you with a black hole. By the way, would you like something to drink? Before we go, how about two cups of wake the heck up? <laughs> no. Four cups. Is that real? Is that actually just what they call coffee? Because the conversation coming up will last forever. The conversation coming up will last forever. Damn. All right, that was a cool interaction. I've been watching her closely for a while Dude, now. Dude, I gotta play and fully. the first invitation was in the <gasps> banquet hall of the hotel. This is just like the intro of uh, the dance. She just sat in one corner, keeping silent, chugging down a couple cups of wake the heck up. Wake the I heck told up. Her it's a pungent, bitter beverage, not the taste of sweet dreams, only for people allergic to soul glad. And she said, All right, that's a really cool emote, but guys, do the back shots emote. There it is. There's the back shots emote. Really? But I don't taste. Any difference at all between them? The guest rooms are charmingly minimalist. An aesthetic you share, Miss Acheron. She wants her so bad, man. God, she wants her so bad. She can't touch it's her body. <laughs> this music box. The invitation received by the Annihilation. There we go. Game. There are latent memories that linger on it yet. This is the music invitation box that we also have. I you forgot see, that this is like the are not yours invite. Alone. They travel in other people, other things. I know much and I can predict even more. With some help, the dead can be made to speak. No way they're actually... How the are they ever gonna be playable? Thing, that band of desperados who all disappeared after meeting you. What exactly happened to them? Well, let me reveal all. Will we get to see them? I want to get to know each of them. Whoa. Gradation 12. Dreamscape 12. Father, I dedicate this to you. Huh. Well done. Dubra. Dubra. Wherever they go. Shall be met by annihilation. There it is. It's hazy, but it's Ifrit's voice. The other one is probably his progeny. 
It sounded like the little like puppet like one. This is the residual memory from when the invitation was first delivered. They were abruptly interrupted. Then what happened next is I forget who Duber is. They sought refuge in the land of sleep. Merely wishing for undisturbed rest away from the storms. Children of the flame, this marks your rite of passage. She won't be necessary. I alone am enough. Oh. Shh. When have the Ripple. path of destruction appeared? The Everflame Mansion has set out on a journey. Those poor people, they have no idea what lies in wait ahead of them. Memory Jesus. recovery is going well, but slowly. She'll be here soon, and time is short. There's nobody else here, so there's no need to be delicate. In fact, I think I'd better go all out. One more. <gasps> what happened? No, not no. The memory after that is blank. How is that possible? This music box fell into Acheron's hands. <laughs> the and worst. She brought it to Panacone. That's a fact, and that's how it should have gone. Blank her memory. Way. She put her and her. It's crazy. No! <laughs> That's so sad. It's like it's been erased. <laughs> Who's done this? Oh, even more. Who are you? Huh? Who are you? It's. Huh? No. Is this not a memory? Oh, a memo keeper. Do you serve the Garden of Recollection? This is real time. The cremators. Dude, I love the name cremators. I would want to be a part of the cremators. My name is Constance. Constance. A pleasure to meet you. We were supposed to meet in Pentagoni and spend it. <laughs> Unforgettable. Constant is the the big one, right? We were supposed to, so this is indicating that we're not alive. It's just a memory. The mommy but D. Seems unrealistic. Tommy Tresk. Dolly is not welcome on the banquet store, and I don't need a coming of age ceremony. Not the whip one. And you? I know what you're looking for. She's the Tommy Tresk cosplay. Tali is not welcome on the banquet star, and I don't need a coming of age ceremony. And you, I know what you're looking for. Want her secret? I can give it to you, and then you can enjoy the banquet for me. This one's her. The Dami Tresk cosplay. She's so incredible. I wish you unforgettable memories. I wish you unforgettable memories. Oh. Hmm. A phone. Wanna listen in? I'm so confused. Like, my brain is so broken a bit. I'm usually trying to give out theories at certain points. I, I don't got anything. I got nothing. A few days ago, the IPC made an announcement. Under the watchful guidance of the Marketing Development Department and in accordance with the Interstellar IPC. Peace Charter, the independent Sigonian sovereignty has hereby been established and shall take a legislative seat at the Interstellar Congress. Sigonian sovereignty has been established. The formation of the Sigonian sovereignty is of great historical significance to the Sigonia system. This move puts an end to the planet's long and bloody history turning the sensational Kataka Avgen extinction event into a distant memory. 
Okay, magic man, I like your words. I like your special is words. located in an unclaimed zone at the intersection of the Denise, Pruthian, and Dorneau star clusters. The planet's surface environment is known for being extremely harsh, constantly faced with the threat of impact from small-scale celestial objects. Oh. This is why very few intelligent species have made this planet their home. Dividing themselves into several tribes to eke out nomad lifestyles as they struggle to survive the arid desert wilderness. They have developed their own folk beliefs that are independent of the Eon belief system. Sigonia. Sigonia. Ravenous eye of the storm, spurned by all the gods. Land. <sighs> But not water, lightning, but not rain, blood, but not tears. You beat us with your falling stars. You lash us with wind and storm. You chew us up with the cracked earth. You promised us a land of honey. Yet yoked us beneath a sword of bitterness. Oh, Gyathra Triclops, if thou can hear me, please open up thy three eyes and gaze upon this child. When you took his father, my child was still sleeping in my belly. And where my husband went, I too soon must go. I don't ask for a peaceful death. Just for you to tell me, does the baby swaddled sweetly asleep? Does he dream of his mother's heartbeat and the sound of falling rain? A dream, baby? Please tell me whether this life is all just a fleeting dream. Is, is that a Venturain? Otherwise, why would this child be born to face impending death? The rain. Mommy! Mommy! That does not look old enough to speak. Cause it's not raining. It is raining. It's true. Uh, it's it's another child. Oh, we did some in the rain. Sibling. Mommy, we can leave here. We can go back home. I thought that kid just started talking. I was like, maybe, maybe God answered you. Maybe whatever you're praying to could probably answer your request. Mother! <laughs> Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> Who is this? You came. Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> Do you hear that? <gasps> Thank you. I'm so lost. Thank you. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> oh my god. This Are you sure it's a dream? On the day you were born, the sky also sent down a gift like this from Gyathra. Y'all ever watch like an episode of anime and it just doesn't feel like the right episode, so you have to check and make sure if you skipped another episode? This feels like this. It feels like I skipped an episode of anime and I'm like, oh, baby. Uh, <laughs> that's what it feels like. Such a lucky child. Such a blessed child. Check Crunchy Roll real quick. Just like your name. It's <laughs> just Lumine. <laughs> Aether. A gift from them to Avgen. Such a lucky, <gasps> lucky. My boy. Avgen's lucky. May the goddess Gyathra close her eyes three times. Avgen. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Have Jean. Have 
Jean. Av. Jean. Vin. Tureen. Oh my God! Let your journey be forever peaceful. <laughs> Avgen isn't his name, though. It's, it's a it's a spinoff. It's the name of his people. Aventurinian. I don't know. Don't let me cook. Let your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. <laughs> Welcome to this sad world, Kakavasha. Okay, I can't... Kakavasha being his legal name, I can't stretch that to sound like an adventuring. Even I can't do it. <sighs> Time to wake up, gambler. <laughs> it's him. It's him. Yeah, no doubt about it. Okay, so his people is the Avgene Sugonians. Kakakavasha is his legal name, his government name. Is that Gallagher's voice? Oh, heavens. <laughs> I must have drunk too much Soul Glad. I didn't expect you to be back so <laughs> soon. How is it? Uh, Find anything? Just as you oh, guessed, it's not, it's nobody not. outside knows about Robin's death. There aren't what? even baseless conspiracy theories. I forgot he's a part They're of this, still too. still streaming the rehearsal for her ceremony using a stand-in, I guess. Ratio. They must be dreaming. I didn't get the whole pensive, like, I mean, a pent-up asshole vibe from the first line. Of course. <laughs> Who could imagine that death would actually descend upon the idyllic dream created by the family? Let alone that the victim would be the female lead of the Charmony Festival. To be honest with you, I didn't believe it. I even tested it a few times myself. Until I discovered that I couldn't actually die. <laughs> Whenever there's any danger, I'm forced awake by the dream pool, and it's all as if everything were just a nightmare. Did he just, like, jump off a building? <laughs> How did he try to kill himself in the dream? That's why I'm convinced that there are a few big secrets lurking behind the scenes. Then you must have heard about the Memory Zone meme. When I graciously deigned to establish connections with the Oak family on your behalf, they were quite in a pitiful state of disarray. Just kiss him already, man. Besides Robin, there was another body. I don't know the exact details, just that it was... A stowaway. Two murder cases? <laughs> I told you something seemed off about the nameless. Uh, he must have come across the other one. <laughs> this murderer is a psycho. But I have to admit, the case should be easy to crack. Uh, we can leverage the family's malfeasance and let the IPC use this as a reason to intervene. Uh, it's just that their trickery runs deeper than I thought. Robin's stand-in was all ready to go. <sighs> These two murders are definitely getting hushed up. How much y'all think that watch is worth? Uh, what should we do? Let me think. It's too rare an opportunity to miss out on, so I gotta be careful. 11k, 1k? Incredible gambler. Have you already exhausted your limited repertoire of tricks so soon? So passively aggressive. Oh, there are plenty of chips, but it'd be best to choose carefully. The most straightforward has to be Robin. Remember? That masked fool once told me to find a mute as a friend. Sparkle. Robin is what she calls the mute. Right. She, she has lost, lost her, her voice. voice. And while most people can't pick up on it, you and I cannot mistake that sound. Not produced by any voice box, but rather by the resonance of the harmony. If that girl hadn't gone hoarse from singing practice, there'd only be one possibility. Something was up with the family. Or Robin herself. To get to the bottom of this, I tried every way I could to meet her, but she died right before my very eyes. You saw this. A complete and utter loss. Incidentally, 
It's it always the family. It seems to have resulted in your rather undignified arrival on the interrogation stand. There were eyewitnesses at the scene, and the family, in their graciousness, has tentatively accepted your alibi. However, for the foreseeable future, you shall, regrettably, find yourself under the vigilant watch of the hounds. Well, things aren't looking too optimistic, Doctor. I'm starting to break out in a cold sweat. D do you reckon... There's still any chance of a comeback, given how things are? A probability... Comeback. Yes, it exists, but it verges on the infinitesimal. To phrase it in a manner more befitting the vernacular of Penacony, you're dreaming. <laughs> but if you simply can't control yourself and want to try your hand, then there just so happens to be a suitable candidate. That man wants to see you again. That man? Who? Oh. Sunday. <laughs> Sunday's the most evil guy here. Trust me. Trust me when I say we're going to get to the end of all this. We're like, yeah, Sunday. Bad fella. Bad guy. What's up, failure? <laughs> Threesome with ratio Sunday and Adventuring. Is this a public hearing or a private trial? Check out my secret link down below. If it were the former, it would hardly Sus befit day. my stature to stoop to the role of a mere messenger. <laughs> <sighs> Fine. <laughs> well, that's great. It's all great. You see, the dead can't talk, but the living can. Ratio, I'm convinced now that there must be something wrong inside the family. No. Oh, just you wait and see. That man's sister has died. He can't sit on his hands. Well, without any further ado, let's set off. Lead the way. The show is about to begin. This is about to get really interesting. I'm actually hooked on We're this storyline. The Dewlight Pavilion is the Oak family's fortress and a place where heads of the families meet to discuss great plans for Panacone. They're both looking snatched. Fortress? <laughs> well, I like this metaphor. I dealt with the warlords of the Amanica star system not long ago, and their synchronized orbital manner wasn't this heavily guarded. This mansion nominally belongs to Sun. <laughs> they walk in holding hands. It is very befitting <laughs> of its owner. Without his express <clears throat> invitation, the likes of ordinary guests would never grace these grounds in their lifetimes. Look around while you still have this moment of freedom. Hey, Doc, whose side are you on anyway? <laughs> Who's to say I won't sell you out? Because he's still working for the IPC. <laughs> we'll see. That little number when on we his neck. the authoritarian master of the Oak family, I'll pry an answer out of him. How's he gonna do it? Follow me and I'll bring you to his parlor. Hold your tongue and let me deal with the members of the family. Go. What is this? The side of paradise. As the story unfolds, you have the chance to progress the story as other characters POV. Oh, nice. And when entering a character's POV for the first time, that character will automatically be placed first in your team. That's actually kind of cool. I'm a Venturine, baby. So we get to play as him before he's even out. His normal attack is dropping down money and a big dice. That's so sick. Okay, what does his defense look like? Really lucky. Yo. This is sick. I can't. No! They don't let me view his details, though. I was going to look at his ass. Yo, kid, let me. You're the defense, you're the bodyguard. <laughs> Drops nuke on bodyguard. Hey, you two. That's a place of business. No entry. Hey, you two. I was requested Ponto. by Mr. Sunday to bring him the suspect. My name is Ratio. He should have mentioned it to you. Ratio. Oh, I remember you. Veritas Ratio. Your punch virtual particle clock is impressive. Excuse me? Uh, the one on your head. Of course, it's nothing compared to my full pocket dimensional annihilating power armor of the mobile knights. Let's try to one up ratio. Right. And as I mentioned, that fantasy raiment of yours doesn't exist. That's because you can't see it. Like I say, only family can see the glory of the mobile knights. Nice. 
Ugh, enough. Get going. Don't keep Mr. Sunday waiting. Bro, sounds like a Marvel fan. Uh, it seems like the idiocy Actually. index here is no better than it is out there. All right, bro. We're about to get kicked out. Chill, 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 chill. Chill. Hello, family members. I'm here to steal your chat. Oh. <laughs> a dead end. The door it is opens. shut tight. Looks like we're on our own. Oh, is this a trap? I mean, there isn't a door. How did you get in before? For security reasons, the family built the administrative site deep in the dreamscape with the mechanisms hidden in these Nightingale statues. The direction of the statues Hello? can be controlled. Audio just died there for a second. <laughs> On the previous occasion, an attendant named Kona had gone to the side room to verify something before setting the statues in the correct positions. Kona? Was that the name of the girl that... Wait, what was the name of the girl that, you know, in that one quest? Kakona. Oh, it's different. It's different. All right. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. <clears throat> Maybe we should do the same. Let's go and take a look. Not Kona, Kona. Of course, I remember it had Kona in it. Force. What do you mean by brute force? Brute force what into where? No, explain that. Here we go. Six nightingales facing in different directions. Okay, I got my screenshot tool. An obvious hint. There we go. Got it. I won't ever forget it now. Mm. But are these nightingales? They are. What's wrong? How can nightingales be so huge? <laughs> they look more like torment eagles to me. <laughs> there are no eagles in the five families, only nightingales. <sighs> why am I wasting time with you on this? It's like, why are you so stupid? <laughs> To return from the path in which they came. All right. So number one, clockwise. One more clockwise. We'll do it. That one's correct. This one's correct. This one needs to go counter -clock clockwise. Counter clockwise. And then clockwise. Bang. First try from memory, by the way. <sighs> Just as I thought. Here's the correct answer. Bro, took a screenshot. We could just hit R. Would it have popped up? A truly miraculous <laughs> discovery. Perhaps I should offer you the chance to join the Genius Society. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I thought you'd given up on that already. I was being sarcastic. <laughs> Can't you tell? Buddy did not know. It literally said use function blow on the screen. That's crazy because I was looking at this on my other monitor. <laughs> oh, impressive. The city? <laughs> well, so much for Mr. Sunday's reserved, virtuous image. Do you need me to remind you? We're in a dreamscape. No matter how grand the mansion looks, it'll not affect Penicone. Stop wasting your time nitpicking the family here. If it's going to be the type, you're like, how crazy would it be if we fucked here and nobody knew about it? <laughs> yeah, you're right. The only way to destroy the family is death. <laughs> Sunday must have thought the same. Let's head down. He'd be like, nobody's here. <laughs> There's going to be a fanfic of that now. What did I do? Hold on. Huh? <laughs> What's wrong? No. But this door is locked. My friend? Did you really make an appointment with him? It's a trial. You got to prove your worth to Sunday before you can speak with him. If I'm not wrong, we need to find a way to open this door in the hall or this place will be our prison. Oh, an escape room. <laughs> My favorite. He's so flirtatious. Get serious. I've no time for games. Let's head back. The hint is probably in that prominent sandpit. Wow. That's an enormous sandpit. It's a whole fruit bowl. That's crazy. Oh, 
There's a noticeable gap in the model. Rose said he's a whole fruit bowl. I believe you're right. There wasn't a gap before. That man must have done it intentionally. Well, with your brilliant mind, you shouldn't have any trouble recalling what was here last time. Right, Doctor? Of course. He's so... Let's look he's around. tall. When I see it, I will know it. Right, Doctor. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Why do I feel that we're pursuing a degree in burglary now? <laughs> I love the vibe. You passed the vibe check. Go, 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 go. I ain't fighting anybody today. Dude, I really want that chest. No! I didn't realize that they were gonna... Oh, nice. Here we go. We got it, finally. And the nameplate reads Gulliver's Arch. <laughs> Well, I'm amazed you can remember something this tiny. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of a tunnel I once saw that could shrink people who passed through it. So you're saying you don't remember the tiny things, do you? If I were you, I would shut my mouth. It's wise to remain silent <laughs> when you should. The, the backhanded jokes here, man. He's so mean for no reason. Insert Gulliver's Arch into the slot. Oh, this reminds me of one of those building toys. You know, with the blocks. Legos. <laughs> I've never played with them before. <laughs> I wonder if it's more interesting than stacking chips. Oh, look. Oh, the fits. gap is closed. And it fits perfectly. So, what's next? What's next? We go in. <gasps> it sucked me in. <gasps> There's gonna be some weird ass fantasy ship made out of this one. Oh man, I can see it now. Oh, good heavens. D did I drink? This is. Am I still in a dream? This is literally gonna be. Indeed. If you know, you know. Oh, doctor, you're cute. <laughs> it's me down here in the, the sand pit. <laughs> okay. Okay, bro. Oh, actually, I think we could make this work for us. Just find a way to slip me into Sunday's collar and I'll infiltrate the family just like that. Hardy, I shrunk the twink. <laughs> Oh, fine. Oh, I was just kidding. God. Let's find a way to open the door. Uh, uh. Is that guy good? <laughs> Guys, I think this NPC is broken. Is this on purpose? All the NPCs are like... Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you just throw cologne in the air? What the fuck is going on here, bro? What is happening? Hello, I'm industrial scum. What the hell? Bro, the NPCs need some updates. I thought it was like actually a glitch at first. Hello, I am an NPC. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the golden hour base model. I am an Ope soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base model. Happy to be of service. Hey there, are you okay? Hmm. And tell me about the tour. Hello. Welcome to the Golden Hour Base. Model. <laughs> I am an Oak Soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour <laughs> of the Base Mall. No, give it a kick. Model. Happy to be of service. Generating guide. Please wait patient. <laughs> As your voice works. <laughs> this is going to be in my head. This is like a GLaDOS, like TTS. Kick again. Found the nearest check-in spot. Please look behind me. 
A capsule ma a sheen model This is so good <laughs> What's up with that? Hey. Now the family's toys are trying to frame me? He I died? I do a thing to it, Doc. You've got to be my witness. You saw that, right? I saw nothing. Okay, buddy. Yeah, you probably actually can't from this angle. Oh, capsule machine. I kept kicking it. I guess I didn't no kill mechanism it. mechanism on the floor. Could there be one at the top? Doctor, do me a favor. Oh my god. Bro, you so, know it's gonna be made into some crazy I shit. I was right. These models have interiors that look exactly like the real buildings. The only difference is that no one lives in them. Like, I bet you can Google it right now and find something. Nature that makes him seem like a, oh, one of the fragments flew upstairs. I'll need to use the pinball machine to flick myself up there. But it's tough. All right, it's time to go. Flick myself. <laughs> oh, great. There's another pinball machine base here. And it's empty, too. Doc! I'll need your <laughs> brain power again. There's no need to yell. I can hear you. His voice sounds slower. The ball machine must be hidden somewhere in the hall, like the arch. Wait here, and I'll be back in a minute. Minute. Waiting. <sighs> Finally, a moment <laughs> of peace. Can I see him on the map? Huh. <laughs> Quite a fascinating contraption i would rate it more favorably if that clamorous little person inside were gone uh ratio <laughs> i can hear you okay buddy the consequences are mine to bear let's grab this That's stuff it. pleasant moment of solitude are always fleeting he said the silence for once man back just place it here Thank you. <laughs> Why does he say thank you so zestily? He's so giant. Dropping his balls. And one more. Boom, first try. Oh, yeah, you should come in here and take a look. The oh, view here my is God. Breathtaking. Honestly, you could easily squash me with just a pinch. If that is your wish, I will do so without a moment's hesitation. <sighs> All done. Piece of cake. Finally, we complete the jigsaw. And we go in the room. Okay, ready? Piece number one. Boom. 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 The joyous First try. tour of Toy City has come to an end. Mm, no! I want to be small forever! Well, County isn't all bad, right? I'll use this interesting experience as a talking point at the poker table. Fellas, you're never going to believe this. I shrunk myself. It's a pity you made it out of the sandpit alive. Sunday is just beyond this door. All right. From my limited understanding, he's not someone easily handled. Are you prepared? Oh. Yeah. Gulp. Only I believe he's the one who should be prepared to face me. Tell me about your plan. I don't have a plan. <laughs> I'll just play it by ear. There are only two kinds of bargaining chips when dealing with people. Benefit or fear. Looks like sincerity isn't in your dictionary. Am I not sincere enough? There's no need to emphasize it. We've got to make good use of death. That man's sister is dead. 
He won't be able to turn a blind eye, and that's fear. And I'll help him find the murderer. He can't do it due to his status and position, but I can. And that's benefit. On what basis do you believe he's incapable? Necessitating the delegation to someone from a rival faction? The IPC? Simple. Because that murderer could very well be a traitor hiding inside the family. Among us. Uh, um, do you mean the Galaxy Ranger whom you accused previously? <laughs> that was just an excuse, good doctor. There's something wrong with that woman. We need someone who can keep her in check. It's better to minimize the variables outside our control while we execute our plans. Moreover, I need to know her identity. If I'm lucky. <laughs> She could be an important pawn. And it's good to have more helpful friends when dealing with this matter. But honestly, the murder case is likely unrelated to her. I believe my standpoint. There's a rat in the family. Hmm. Otherwise, Sunday. why would Mr. Sunday arrange a private meeting it's with Sunday. us? This isn't an interrogation, but a secret negotiation. All along, he knew it wasn't her. But it's Sunday. He's an evil person. We'll see. Using Robin's death as a bargaining chip, I'll win back my freedom and power. Win back my freedom and, and power. Hello, I'll ruin audio. This beautiful dream and create the grandest death. God, what direction is this taking? If the chance of winning is just beyond this door, even if that chance is close to zero, well. <laughs> You can't win if you don't play, right? You miss 100% of the shots you don't drink. I mean, take. Ah, the charming audacity. To think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear gambler. Three chips are enough. All or nothing. All or nothing. We're going balls to the walls. Hold up, what's that? Let me get your chest. I'm going to steal your possessions. You don't need them anyways. You're bushy sale. All right. Hello, sir. It seems my puzzles are too effortless for you, IPC ambassador. Whenever somebody's got something like this behind them, evil. Abyss lectures, Sunday, same thing. I appreciate your words. And I see you put a lot of effort into welcoming me, Mr. Sunday. However, this is no way to greet a guest. Well, this isn't an invitation, but a summoning. Before we speak, I need to test your character. I imagine this knowledgeable doctor friend of yours has been of great help. Certainly. You ought to know this better than I do. He's already faithfully fulfilled his duties, hasn't he? Yes. The doctor has assured me of your noble character. He considers you, like himself, a virtuous person who can be trusted by the family. I have come to know you very well as a person, Mr. Aventurine. You're diligent, generous, and willing to cooperate. The fact that you succeeded in overcoming many obstacles just to meet me gave me the reason to believe in your wisdom and courage. But there's one thing I must Look at ask him. you. That is, you've used your wisdom at the wrong place Down to meet the boy. wrong person. And put yourself in a situation where you shouldn't be witnessing a tragedy that shouldn't have happened. Oh, you don't look too well. Am I making you anxious? Or horny? If not, then it means I'm on your side. If I wasn't mistaken, you'd just made a serious accusation against the family. No, you weren't mistaken. For depravity is creeping in around you. There's no need for us to be evasive. Let's talk about your sister. Your sister's talent is unrivaled in the world of show business. As you know, her voice has been out of tune since she returned to Penacony. What's more disheartening, she can't sing anymore. Cause death. Who could be responsible for this? Many suspect the culprit is among the outsiders, but I know you hold a different opinion. 
he always leads conversation as if he knows the truth. And it like makes it feel like he does. Now your noble status has become a shackle, preventing you from apprehending the murderer and avenging your sister's death. You're feeling anxious because you're out on a limb. But don't worry. I'm on your side. But he's still smiling. I'm immensely honored by your concern for me, Mr. Aventurine. Since you're so selfless and generous, I believe you wouldn't ask for anything in return, would you? Well, naturally, you wouldn't incur any loss from this. I just want to reclaim what is mine. My liberty. Freedom. And the personal items under the family's custody. The bag of gift money. And... The box in which the cornerstone is stored. <laughs> I, these, these were, these like things are saying. That's right. What does it all mean? Cornerstone. I've heard it's a treasured asset of the strategic investment department. A sacred stone that seals the preservation emanator. Granting significant power. And every liquidation specialist holds one. Tin stone hearts. For an object so precious. It probably comes at an even higher price than other forms of recompense. Well, I'm sure you're aware of the high level of risk I'll be undertaking to bring the truth to light. Mr. Aventurine, when you are out and about, do you always make adjustments to your appearance? Your tie should be on the center line. Your shirt must not protrude from your vest. Your trouser creases should be perfectly straight. And always aligned with the tips of your shoes. Okay, Mr. Fancy Rich Man. Of course. But I don't. Because it's not appropriate to do so in public. So that's courteous? You should make sure everything is presentable and in order before leaving the house. I'm not the kind that takes risks. The cornerstone must be in the custody of the family. No room for negotiation. Please. Don't let me turn you down twice. Damn. Two no's. Or one big no, maybe a second. Sure. The gift money is good enough. <laughs> so, uh, I suppose you wouldn't mind that. <laughs> After all, a merchant can't function without a bargaining chip. Where's that energy when I'm sipping over Black Swan and you guys are like, bruh, bruh. You compromised quicker than I thought. Unfortunately, it's a gambler that needs a bargaining chip, not a merchant. I can give you your gift money. But before that, I want you to tell me. Huh? The fact that you can decisively forsake the box you asked for, what exactly is stored in it? Oh. The tension in the room. Oh, triple faced soul. Please sear his tongue and palms with a hot iron. So that he will not be able to fabricate lies and make false vows. This bro, someone in the devil? What is this? <sighs> what have you done? Has he trapped him into telling the truth? Under the light of the harmony, all wickedness is revealed. I implore them to shed their light, and I'll ask you questions on their behalf. Next, you have 113 seconds to prove your innocence and gain my trust. It's such a specific number. And if I refuse to answer? You can try. And we'll see if the harmony rejects you. Will I die? <laughs> Question. Do you own oh! a cornerstone? Wait, Ratio's just letting this happen? Yes. What a simple answer. You too understand that idle chatter leads only to poverty. Did you hand over direct, the cornerstone yes. to the family when you entered Panaconi? Hypnosis. Did you hand it over when you entered Panaconi? Yes. Yes. Does the cornerstone you handed over to the family belong to you? Yes. <laughs> He's just being straight. Is your cornerstone in this room right now? Yes. Is your memory free from any kind of tampering or deletion? Encompassing but not restricted to the techniques of the Garden of Recollection? Yes. Are you an Avgen from Sigonia? There it is. That's the story we saw before we were so confused by. Yes. You even know about that? That was the baby. Do the Avgens have any ability to read, tamper with, or manipulate one's own or another's mind? No. No. Does it matter? Do you 
love your family more than yourself. Yes. <gasps> family man. All the Abjins were killed in a massacre. Am I right? Ratio, shoot that bird. That's what it's coming from. No. No. Are you your clan's sole survivor? Yes. <laughs> Maybe. Perhaps. Probably has hope that the siblings out there. Do you hate and wish to destroy this world with your own hands? I don't know. He's conflicted. Interesting. Now, the final question. Can you swear that at this very moment, the Aventurine Stone is safe and sound in this box? Uh, I think. Hmm. He's just observing. He's just watching this. Whimpers. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Looks like we can get an answer. Now his ability is fascinating how he did that. Open it, Mr. That Adventure. Mind control. It's your last chance to defend your honor. All right, we're opening the box. Is there actually an adventuring stone in here? <sighs> Sunday is such an evil guy. He's got that rich boy, evil guy, prestigious family look. Ratio, don't leave me hanging. Please. <laughs> Are these what you're looking for? <laughs> the green one's the adventurine. What's the other one? Is that Topaz? So some hours ago, do light pavilion. What stone is the other one? Since promised, learned doctor. Does this mean that you are willing to take the side of the family in this farce? Fascinating. Because we know a lot of these IPC members got stone names. Probably means they carry, just because they're the carriers of the cornerstones. What makes you think you can convince me? I've heard you haven't enjoyed Mr. Aventurine's company. Till nighttime. I also understand that you're an avid learner who sees the pursuit of knowledge above all. In that case, you ought to realize that a competent scholar knows their position and wouldn't forsake more vital matters for the sake of petty pride. If you agree to assist the family, I'll share our research findings on the Stellaron. <gasps> you must be quite aware that, besides the family, no other faction is willing to share such information. Hmm. Cut to the chase. What do you need from me? Say it straight. I need Mr. Aventurine's comprehensive plan. You gonna sell me out? Haven't you confiscated his cornerstone? You can't expect a featherless bird to take flight. But I've also heard the ten elites in the strategic investment department <laughs> okay, now say it, okay. progressing together in the interests of the IPC. You have to speak hearts. more clearly ten. than that. <sighs> The cornerstone, which Mr. Aventurine surrendered. Was it really his? Maybe it's a family heirloom. <laughs> you question whether he would entrust you with someone else's cornerstone. The ten stone hearts aren't as united as you think. Cornerstones are significantly more precious to them than their very own lives. There's ten of them. But you know that he's a crazed gambler. The more vocal he is about it, the more cautious I must be. I never imagined someone would share his way of thinking. Honestly, <laughs> you should see a shrink. <laughs> Bring it. The box containing the cornerstone is unique. And only IPC senior staff and related members can access it. But I happen to be among them. Among us. Huh. 
Huh? <laughs> I appreciate it. The music cut. Thought something bad was about to happen. Unfortunately, your oh. guess is correct. <laughs> <laughs> The golden stone. Its color and glow are similar to that of Klepoth's body. This is the very ruse he intends to use to fool you. He won't reveal to you that the ten stone hearts chisel their own will into the cornerstones, granting them an unparalleled radiance. What does it mean? And this golden statue is also known as Topaz, not Adventurine. And it belongs to Topaz. We met her. So, do you wish to confront him? Uh, not at the moment. I'm more interested to know the location of his cornerstone. The safest place somewhere you'd never think of. Because he never intended to hide it. In fact, that cornerstone has been in your hands from the very beginning. It's just in the bag? His Gucci? How did you get topazes? I see. This bag. Mixing a cornerstone, more precious than life itself, with a bunch of worthless jewels, disguised as a gift of money waiting to be confiscated, is indeed in line with Mr. Aventurine's It makes style. sense to put it in his purse, his merce, if you will. Hidden in plain sight, it blends in. Then he makes up some trivial excuse, downplaying the matter, and requests the gift money. This is a gamble, one he's all too familiar with. Betting on your single misstep, leading to a total loss. That's crazy. They pre-watched pre this. With basically, he's got all the strats. Learn it, Doctor. I am grateful for your help. The family will surely reward a righteous person like you. So this is before the events of what's happening with Venturing right now. Cornerstones are given by Diamond, Emanator of Preservation, boss of the 10 people with Cornerstones. Cornerstones give them special powers. As for the villain, <laughs> I hope he retreats in humiliation. The gays are playing 6D chess is the best comment of the today. <laughs> so this is modern. All thanks to your what's friend, happening right here? that I could add a blot of utter failure to your story. So he career. betrayed me. You never know who to trust. Especially the gay ones. Ratio, <sighs> you wretch. No more head. <laughs> so they're Finally breaking up. <laughs> true colors, huh? <laughs> oh. Oh. Just oh. to remind you, you currently only have 17 system hours left to live. Treasure your remaining time. What? And savor the delectable aftertaste of defeat. What do you mean, 17 uh <sighs> You might as well explain yourself a little more clearly. What I performed on you just now was the Harmony's consecration. You were to show allegiance beneath the illumination of their grace. Yet you acted willfully, uttering nothing but falsehoods. Transforming the consecration into a trial. I genuinely see no reason to absolve you from it. Huh? Since he lied on the gamble, hoping he wouldn't know he's now guilty of telling the lie, gonna be punished by death. That's kind of crazy for a lie. <laughs> is this what the harmony represents? But is it built upon constraint and coercion? <laughs> You misunderstand, Mr. Aventurine. Sounds kind of annihilation-like. is meant for the irreverent, but I have seen your resilient spirit, and thus I offer you the possibility of a new beginning. Throughout these 17 system hours, you will be unable to escape the dreamscape or contact any of your companions. You only have two paths before you. And it all depends on whether you can complete my test within the time limit. We're all talking about how much of an asshole Sunday is. Let's talk about Ratio doing this to him. Sunday's terrible. Let's get this straight. He's very twisted. Ratio sold his boy out here. 
Should Granted, you they're not like best it, friends. You will but be able to coalesce into the harmony. Co-workers. And be with your family. If you fail, you will suffer the wrath of the eternal centurion and fall into an abyss of doom. Dude. It's crazy somebody with an abyss herald backdrop says the word abyss. <sighs> Oh, sounds like I'm gonna end up the same either way. It's like they're all evil. I indeed do need a servant to help me uncover the evil hidden in the family from an external perspective. I will purge the evil from the inside and bring the real culprits to justice within 17 system hours. When the time comes, compare your findings with mine. If both our findings align, or if you can provide me more insights, then they will truly be able to grant you mercy and honesty. Everybody does have their own goals. Shameless hypocrites. You took everything from me and still demand the truth. That isn't fair. Your carnival reeks with a stench of cash. Nothing is achievable without it. This is meant to be an act of personal virtue, not requiring the family's support. Your bag is over there. Do as you please. I believe you can trade this bag of worthless jewels for everything you need. And that's what gamblers excel at, isn't it? Cash in, cash out. <laughs> Off you go, Mr. Aventurine. You are free. It's crazy. I will wait here for your good news. I'm more focused on the ratio side of this. He's got 17 system hours. He said it was a 13, 17, I think. This meeting is I an see what you're saying too though a negotiation but Sunday's got his own reasons but damn is he playing hardball or what it's an outright execution sorry I agree straight up <laughs> why would I do that mr. Aventurine I'm just wondering what a passerby who stumbled upon a scene of a murder could have found out that's all hmm. by the way before you go I have a personal question what is it now? You... Do you truly wish to bring about the destruction of this world? He was kind of conflicted about that answer. Dot dot dot. <gasps> Kakavisha! <gasps> Where did you go? Oh, are you injured? I'm only gonna call him Kakavisha from now on. I got it back, sister. Sister! You went to look for them? That's too dangerous. It's just a necklace. It's neither food nor water. We can survive. Kaka for short. But I can't live without you, little brother. Kakamasha. Not to look for those catechins again. Okay. Sister, don't be afraid. The catechins are fools, but I'm smart. I played a game with them, and I won. Start them young, you know what I mean? Start them young babies first gotcha. <laughs> One? What happened exactly? Tell me. He said, well, we played blackjack and we had whiskey and there was a couple cigars. I made a bet with them. The two birds in the desert and me. Who will die first? I won. They suspected me of cheating, but I didn't. I won fair and square. <laughs> of course. Of course you'd win. You've always been a lucky child. Gaiathra Triclops must be watching over you. I think he's gonna win even this big gamble today because of who he is. That's no reason to push your luck by going up against those those bloodthirsty, cruel catechins. Have you forgotten how mom and dad stop? Look, this is just a necklace. But Kakavasha, you are my only family. <sighs> I'm sorry, sister. I thought you'd be happy because mom left you this necklace. <sighs> There'll be no next time. Mm. Well, it is important, but not as important as you, my dearest brother. I, I don't blame you, but you must remember what mom said. Pain and poverty are the trials of Gaiathra Triclops. She has also granted us a chance. And that's your good luck, Kakavasha. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Avgen have. You're a child blessed by Gaiathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. 
So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. All right? Good sister. Mm. Raise the Kavasha well. Listen to me and swear to Gayathra Triclops. This music is amazing, okay. by the way, too. We'll swear to Gayathra Triclops to protect this wealth. That, that, that. Gayathra Triclops was really watching over us. Then why did she not protect Dad when he was swept away by the quicksand? After all, Dad went to the Catechins' land only to prepare for Gayathra Triclops' offerings. And where was Gayathra Triclops when Mom was shivering in our arms? Mom was still pleading for Gayathra Triclops' forgiveness under her breath till the moment she closed her eyes. Classic religion. Sister, everyone praises me for being smart, but I don't get it. If every rain pour was Gayathra Triclops' forgiveness and grace, then how bad were our sins? So much so that we were born in this world of death? Damn, Kakavasha aware from a young age. Aware. Makes me want to know uh, Topaz's real story and name fully. Um, excuse me. I can't seem to find any information on this artist in the Iris family archives. The photo you provided also doesn't show any matches. Hmm. Just as I thought. That was crazy backstory. What kind of traces do people leave when they enter a dream? Are you referring to the records when you enter the dream pool? The equipment will monitor physiological indicators such as heart rate, blood oxygen levels, and body temperature in real time. This data will be included in statistics and handed over to the family for the screening of any data anomalies. Immediate action will be taken once any illegal behavior is detected. Since Firefly was a stowaway, there's no like room reservation, but they could track it down. Based upon like the, the heartbeat going crazy when they got sad. I apologize. The hotel ah! does not have access. This information is managed by the Bloodhound family. I know where we're going. We can only gain access if there's a problem. Looks like nothing can be found here. At least we know who to look for next. Bloodhound family. family for information. Gallagher time. Thank you for your assistance, Miss Allie. By the way, is Miss Robin doing fine? We are looking forward to her performance. Fine? What does that mean? Is there something wrong with Miss Robin? The preparations for the Charmony Festival have been proceeding smoothly. So, I guess things are pretty good. I believe she will be able to put on a spectacular show for all of you. Mm hmm mm hmm Hmm, I'm sure. Mm hmm Sure enough. No one knows about Miss Robin, but that Miss Firefly is truly mysterious. There's no information on her in the hotel Sam. system. Sam! Even if she's a stowaway, she should have a disguised identity after entering the planet. Sam sounds like Firefly as you just say it really wrong. She's also in the running for the legacy. How is she going to sneak into the dreamscape unnoticed? Uh, is there any other way to enter a dream? Besides the hotel room's dream pool? The Garland Recollection, Celeron Hunters. Celeron Hunters. The Memo Keepers have abilities that Let's are difficult for sparkle. normal people to comprehend. In the memory zone of Penacony, they thrive effortlessly. A fact proven to us by Black Swan. The hacker girl from the Stellaron Hunters used Star extraordinary Wolf. means to unlock the Dreamscape Hotel's seal. According to the scene witnessed by him, it is likely that they are behind Miss Firefly's case. Kind of weird, huh? Maybe there's only one way in. By somebody who can design something technologically advanced. Like a cyborg or a robot. And Samuel. The Garden of Recollection oh. and the Stellaron Hunters. Both are possible. But what about the IPC? Since they want Penacony all for themselves, they're bound to have a plan. <sighs> Who are you guys? <laughs> Nervous guess. The Bravo oh. team has arrived at their designated position. Ready to execute armed evacuation operation. That's the IPC. 
Get moving. Topaz gonna pull up. Uh, uh, armed evacuation? Boss, aren't you drunk? <laughs> what do you know? It's more efficient this way. Just don't let the director Wait. find out. Act first, report later. Is somebody Understood. inside this? You're telling me this has not been a cyborg this whole time? Or is nobody in this and it's like a remote? I don't actually know what the story is behind these bigger guys. Help! Help me! I spent all my year-end bonus on the snowball! The suit? I my name on the department's major disciplinary notice. I thought that maybe the antenna was like remote control, but... Hey, check it out! La, 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 la. Could it be the IPC workers from Bellabog? Because it could be somebody in there, but... To all guests! The IPC will be conducting special operations within the hotel. Please follow the staff in charge of evacuation to the designated safe zones or compulsory measures will be enforced. <gasps> She's here! I'll beating for you, Locke! You've been told not to drink during work hours. Dude, I'm so glad she's a part of this quest. Oh my god, I love Topaz. Take him back to the hotel room. She built like a mother. I'll organize a meeting later to properly go over how this incident report should be written. Dude, like between her and Black Swan's hips, like, they could build a whole bridge out of those. Connect them together. Miss Topaz? I never thought I'd run into you on Panacone. <sighs> oh, long time no see, Astral Express crew. Where's Numby? Venturine has told me a lot about your happenings. Huh? He's in danger. It's fine. Do as they ask and try to avoid any conflicts with the family. Report to me before taking any action. Yes. All right. Looking respectfully. As you see, the IPC isn't very popular here on Penacone. Cordiality from the family is a mere facade. The former Frontier prison has turned around and cuffed its shackles on the IPC staff now. Only a Venturine, who carries an invitation, is allowed to attend the banquet. An entourage like us, we can only sit around in the Reality Hotel, unauthorized to even enter dreams. No wonder a Venturine's scrambling to partner up with someone. The IPC can't back him up in the dreamscape. Ah, it's alone. His situation isn't optimistic, I hear. It's really bad now. You're all helping to investigate some dirt on the family, are you not? Let me know if you need anything outside the dreamscape. The IPC always treats its partners well. Thank you, Miss Topaz. We're on our way to the Hounds to verify some intel. Perhaps you've had dealings uh. with them? Poor little baby caca. <laughs> <laughs> yep. They're telling us right now. Why not go and talk to them? They don't take the spotlight off me. Being constantly stared at is really uncomfortable. I'm sorry, man. You just look amazing. She's talking about me. Am I making her uncomfortable? I'm sorry. I. Uh... How does it feel to be in business with a Venturine? <laughs> I bet you're not used to it. He's very... You know. <laughs> That's just his style. Ball or nothing is his mantra. He's always cozying up to his clients while egging them on to undertake some dangerous assignment with him. But everyone has their merits, so I won't comment further. Cozying up? But Venturine's luck has always been good. He's always closed all his cases without a hitch and basically never lost a gamble. It's a Kaba show. Which is why on the issue of retaking Panacone, I'm watching with keen interest. It works only when all parties are interested in it aligned. Of course. It's business after all. What's important is where you're seated at the table. As for the two cases, apologies, but I don't have much info on them either. All I can do is ask you to keep digging for more details. I will do anything and dig anywhere for you. I will bark for you. We're carrying out our captain's orders. What, what do you want? <laughs> I love space Australians. <laughs> we made a mistake last time, and we're working hard to rectify it now. Oh my we don't God. have time for anything else. 
surveilling the IPC executive Topaz, ah, ensuring yes, that she I... stays put at the Reverie Hotel during her time on Panacone. We've got the right one this time. Because Australians already don't exist, so the fact that they don't exist and they're in space, it's like double unrealistic. So that said, they were the pair who were after Firefly at the time. True. Remember me? I for I totally forgot these guys. I remember them now, but. <laughs> Uh, it's you again. Back for more trouble? <laughs> We're not afraid of you this time. <laughs> well, spit it out. Oh. Stop bothering us if you've nothing important. What's you gonna throw me on the bobby? Is that what you gonna do to me? So you know each other. Uh, why do you keep running into people you've beaten up before? <laughs> When's our lunch break? Mmm, hungry. <laughs> Sheesh, why do you keep asking me that? We're in the middle of investigating a murder Hungry. case for the family. Oh, uh, well... Hey! The security officer instructed everyone to shut their traps before he returned from Dream's Edge. Bring me to Gallagher. What murder? You'd better stop spouting nonsense. Yeah, th 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 that's right. <laughs> we have nothing to report. Please leave. Looks like they're not going to cooperate. Uh, but they did at least tell us that the captain is at Dream's Edge. It'd be so funny to have like a whole gang of Australians in this game. Why Unexplained. Don't we just look for the security Hi, officer then. It's probably Gallagher, the one he mentioned, right? I already got one copy of him in my inventory right now. Goodbye, Space Australian. There he is. Apologies. The Bloodhound family is running an investigation up ahead. No unauthorized personnel allowed. Punches in nose. Hold on a minute. It's you! I think I've seen you before. The, the gray-haired one. I think I made you realize that your wife left you or something. How much trouble have you stirred up exactly on Penacone? This ain't it, Chief. You got the wrong guy. <laughs> It's a me, Clarky. Uh, you think you look alike? <laughs> oh my God! How about a clockwork trick? Wait, are you for real? <laughs> Not possible. It was you the last time yelling about some clockwork friendship while beating me up with that silver-haired girl. <laughs> She's dead now. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, uh, maybe not. Uh, I'm not letting you get by this time. No, no. <laughs> Please, <leave. laughs> or I'll have to get on my knees and beg you. Huh? What kind of heinous crime have you committed now? <laughs> Hold on, sir. We have documents Listen. authorized by the family that would aid your investigation. If it wouldn't trouble you, could we see this Mr. Gallagher? <laughs> Who exactly is this Gallagher you keep talking about? There have been a few people mentioning this name. Even the one with the gray hair. Is this not his name? Uh, he didn't send you all here? It was the security officer who dispatched us. That's all I can divulge. Uh, he'll do. He's the one we've been looking for. What is going on? Uh, sorry, no can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no one's allowed through. <sighs> Punch him in the face again. Everyone, please leave. There's really no need for us to make things difficult for each other, right? He's shaking in his boots. We're really sorry for troubling you. <sighs> Let's think of another way. S sneak in. Another way. Uh, that's it. Didn't they say something about that? Oh, uh, what was it? Clockwork? Clocky. That got this guy to change right. his mind. Can you perform it again? That uh, clocky magic. <laughs> she really is not seeing clocky. Just what I've been waiting for. But I can't abuse evil doings. It's not bad if we're resolving I'm a good guy. misunderstanding. Please. Since you said please. Punches in face. Sorry, Sage. Earlier we were talking about you because apparently you linked my um AFK journey ad. Sorry, no can do. The boss said everyone. Yeah, please. yeah, yeah. Activate clockwork. What are you right now? Calm. Angry. I don't think that's gonna fix it. 
You punk. Why can't you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? The security officer's word is absolute law. I've told you that place up ahead is off limits. To wind, to rain, even if the Dream Master was here, they aren't getting in. I've also never seen Rush Hour. It is a hurt. It doesn't rain in the golden hour. That's just a metaphor. <laughs> a metaphor. Don't you get it? This guy is so pressed. Oh, I'm warning you. If you keep insisting, I'm going to have to show you my true power. I love it so much that we're going to beat this guy's ass for a second time in a separate quest. Um, uh, he looks kind of angry now. Come at me, bro. How dare you defy me in my baseball bat? <sighs> Humans will never understand one another. Oh, great. Even if Klipoth were here, they wouldn't be able to protect him. There is no meaning to death in defiance. Why do you not understand? Sweet Dreams Troop, charge! <laughs> Teach them a lesson they won't forget! Here we go again. Here we go again. All right, buddy, let's make some quick work out of this. I was about to ask, where's my adventurine? And then I remember nobody has adventurine yet. Nobody at all in the world actually has that character. I sent a storm. I didn't mean to do it. What am I doing? Awaken dormant scale. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> I was watching a murderer being interrogated and you popped up. <laughs> That's gotta be the craziest jump scare for some of you. Like, you're gonna see a lot of my face in the next couple of months. If all goes well, accordingly, obviously. The strength. You're just gonna be watching your own shit, mind your own business. Rise. This game is so cool, and I like it because I do. I see through you. Together as one. I have him. Oh, actually. Oh, your voice doesn't allow anybody to get early access lost. before leakers. Oh. Oh. Never mind. Human creations. <laughs> I made him easy, happy and I got the easy outcome. I wanted to see the angry one. Yeah, it came together. Wanted to push his buttons. Heaven search. Quick. No, there was no script. That ad had no script. That was free balled. Am I destined to relive this outcome? I was watching the game while it was like going. You and I have been plunged into a cycle of despair. We got him again, boys. Oh, what's he talking about? However, this time, I will sever the chains of tragedy. The only way any of you will pass is over my dead body. He's actually gonna die for this. He doesn't have to be so melodramatic, does he? Hmm. Looks like he still doesn't want to divulge anything. The principal Bloodhound family member was unusually gloomy. You have to think of a way to get him to lighten up. So I should make him sad now is what you're saying. <laughs> you, you lot insist on doing this. Sorry, but human uh, lives and the family's reputation are at stake. If you don't mind getting on your knees, can we actually make this guy get down on his knees? <sighs> I didn't think you were the type who would kick someone when they were down. Yes, I am. If that's the case, I'll just have to acquiesce to everyone's wishes. Lower my esteemed head and plead with everyone. Wait, I feel bad. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, no need. <laughs> Standing is just fine. March. You don't need to do that. What a drag. Hmm. Looks like he still doesn't want to divulge anything. Okay, I have to comfort him now. Ah, uh, fine. Be happy. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Let me see what time it is now. Whoa. It's this time already. What? Time to clock out. And no one's gonna stop me. <laughs> the highly principled member of the Blood Out family laughed heartily and left the scene. Huh? No one's gonna stop me. <laughs> uh, this clockwork trick of yours, it's kind of dangerous. How you feeling now, Marsh? 
You wanna try it? At least he won't be getting in our way again. Let's go find that Gallagher and ask him the intricacies of the case. Took me damn long enough to get past that. Here we go. Huh. Oh, it's you guys. Welcome. Since you made it here, what can I do for you? He sounds I'm like a more southern Risley. Hello, Mr. Gallagher, sir. Judging from your tone, it sounds like you are expecting us. <laughs> Miss Himako, you're too polite. There's no need to call me sir. Call me honey. Mr. Gallagher, you even know my name. Of course I do. You folks are from the legendary Astral Express and honorable guests of the Watchmaker. Dude, I love how hers like little cape is paws. He got little paw prints. <laughs> I had an encounter with this gentleman in the golden hour. I remember that little silver haired girl was there too. I'm sorry for what happened to that kid. You know, it's exactly what the family has ordered us to investigate. This is also the reason why we've come to visit you, Mr. Gallagher. The express can't just overlook the death of that child. So we've decided to help the family get to the bottom of it in the hopes of getting justice for her. The nameless involved with the family. What an unpredictable twist of fate. Why? What's wrong with the family? A couple things. Uh, it's nothing. On Penicone, everyone loves the family. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No matter how much one resists the beautiful dream, when the time comes, they too will find it hard to let go. Who wants to leave a warm nest? Just idiots, little kids, and inebriated fools. Mr. Gallagher seems to be getting at something. But you got it wrong. I'm not. You want to discuss the case? Sure. Come with me. This is not a good place to talk. Let's go elsewhere. What is that chat message? On the other side, I do like how we're swapping perspectives. Even after that chilling tragedy a lot this dream is yes. still running effortlessly this is perfect more of my favorite character Other than the family of the harmony it's hard to imagine any other power in the universe that could sustain a building of such magnitude the family itself is a huge perfect building like a living idol each member of the family sees themselves as a piece of the divine puzzle revolving around a singular core and a shared ideal the harmony under their command, they loyally fulfill their roles, offering themselves while also receiving sustenance in return. I always like the footnotes in this game. How you understand? Interesting analogy. Perhaps that's why Penicone's beautiful dream has persisted for so long. But the human body has its limits, and so does the divine. My mind. My that body don't quit. Doesn't sound like the kind of comment a galaxy ranger would make. Just pointing out the facts. Mr. Yang will definitely have a better sense of what's going on than I do. Why do you say that, Miss Acheron? The beautiful dream is crumbling. But not because of a particular eon, a particular faction, or a particular visitor. Its collapse stems from a certain inevitability of human nature. The family refuses to acknowledge this, and it has ultimately backfired and become a catalyst. As people immerse their souls in the dreamscape, where consequences and pain cease to exist, and only ease and pleasure prevail, they draw closer and closer to necrosis. Bro. Regardless of the perceived bliss, death looms as the inevitable conclusion. Bro, the ultimate dream. Also, this necrosis will diffuse and spread. One piece of the puzzle's mutation will eventually cause the entire building to shake, break, and Crumbled. crumble. In the end, the dreams that people built in the name of freedom became the cage that imprisoned them. The things that people built in the name of freedom became the thing that imprisoned them. I'm sure you've gained a lot from this trip, Miss Acheron. Are you willing to share your findings with me? Of course. That's if I remember. She don't remember nothing. She says this as her hand gently rests on the hilt of her sword. And then quickly let's go in the blink of an eye. Mm -hmm. Huh? <sighs> Don't mind me. It's just a habit. Owing to events in the past, I've become easily forgetful. 
It's only when this sword is unsheathed that those hazy memories start to become clearer. It's muscle memory. Take your time. That should do it. I vividly remember everything that occurred on Panacone. Ask away. That's all it took is one little... I shouldn't do that animation, actually, now I think about it. All right, regarding the moment of daybreak, let's start from the top. The moment of daybreak. I've heard that's where the Dawn Factory, which processes the foundation of the dreamscape, is located. Mm -hmm. Behind the dreamscape's song and dance stand many imagination factories. Workers create all kinds of whimsical works day in and day out in their dreams. Then they return to reality and sleep on a narrow bed in a room. A far cry from luxury. Okay. They say it will suffice. Experiencing the bizarre and motley dreamscape is the best reward. There I encountered a young woman who had just come of age. The perfect time to indulge in beautiful dreams. Her greatest wish was to one day move to the golden hour and see the magnificent garments she had woven with her own hands. For certain reasons, her wish was difficult to fulfill. But I managed to bring her a garment. Regarding the Gilded Hour. Gilded Hour. It's said to be Penacone's currency center. Yes. It is a fortress-like financial city. The economic heart of the dreamscape. The Papeshi people of the Alfalfa family are there to keep it running. Papeshi. blood that is made from money everywhere on Penacone. Mm -hmm. Everyone there is exquisitely dressed and always in a hurry. The greatest wish of the local Papeshi people is for their future generations to work in the Gilded Hour. I've never met anyone who is willing to talk. I could only stand at the crossroads, watching crowds of people hurrying like the wind through the jungle of steel, only to deposit the alfalfa credits that they'd earned into the bank's vault. This is New York for real. I don't know if they would open the vault door, but before I left, I witnessed a well-dressed Papeshi person plummet from the sky. All those around him continued on their way. His <laughs> face. Bruh. Mm, yeah. Yeah. All right, Blue Hour. I hear the Blue Hour is uh, very romantic. I want to go there. Do you have any tales to share? Oh dear God. Perhaps Mr. Yang has heard. There is a large boat called the Aventide anchored along the Sea of Dreams, where soft music and dancing persists endlessly every night. Maybe that's where they had the. The animation short together. I ran into a wizened lady there. She was at the dock, waiting for her long departed lover to return. Waiting for countless hours within time that stood still. In the humid sea breeze, she spoke of her own youth. Like many who desired wealth and love, they came to Panacone to pursue their dreams. Alas, her lover's consciousness was lost in the dark depths of the sea of dreams. Finally, she suggested we continue our conversation on a boat in the shallows. I agreed and boarded the boat with her. But she never said anything. Her eyes absent-mindedly gazing at the horizon for what seemed like forever. Finally, Damn. we retreated to the beach. Okay. Blue hour sounds like the place to be, honestly. Moment of dust. The dreamscape of chic luxury and consumerism the moment of dusk my companions have been there too then you all must have seen those who are attempting to realize their dreams or have realized them scattering money as if it were dust and betting it on all or nothing me for real everything has a price and everything can be bought or sold even dreams themselves i saw an intellitron there who was preparing to auction himself when someone wins a bid under stipulated periods and rules, he would do the buyer's every bidding, becoming that person's very possession. That Intellitron had been auctioned off a dozen times, and I participated in his 13th. That was the grandest banquet I had ever attended. But never again did anyone cast another glance at him. This time around, there were no successful bids for him. All right, this place seems like a real who. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> this is what I've seen and heard along the way. 
someone once said to me, Kanakoni wasn't like this a long time ago, nor should it be. Used to be a prison. I've traveled through the reality and dreamscape of the planet of festivities, watched the tides of night rise and fall when time stopped for people, where the spirits of the rich and impoverished remain forever fixed on their own scales. This is why I think the collapse of the beautiful dream is inevitable. Interesting. There might be a way to change everything. Perhaps. But if this is indeed the world that people desire, if this is precisely why life chooses to slumber, slumber. should we still seek to change it? A red. <sighs> what does it mean? Miss <sighs> Acheron, now it's my turn to share a story with you. Uh oh. The there tone. was a man from my homeland who, at a time when the world was grappling with deep, unhealable pain, made a choice. Is he talking about Otto? He wove together the dreams of everyone in the world, linking people's dreamscapes, and shouldered this burden himself. From this, he created a giant, a spiritual Adam. This is straight up confirming. This is confirming the convergence here, or like at least the association. You know? The music. This isn't Otto? This is referring to Kevin? Not Otto? I don't know who Kevin is. I'm not that far. I've met Otto. And since that moment, the giant stood between heaven and earth, becoming the pillar of the world's existence. As a price, those who found it hard to move forward, who could not advance, forever lost their future. Oh, Kevin Kozlana, Kiana's father. They slumbered in a dream, devoid of disaster and pain, living out their days peacefully in the man's created utopia. And it is because of the wishes of those people who wished not to awaken Oh. That this spiritual Adam became unbreakable. <laughs> oh, his name isn't Kevin. Siegfried is. All right, let me just say we got a lot of Hawkeye and Pector to catch up on. I'll probably not retain a lot of this. That's the spiritual Adam that became unbreakable. And yet, you stand here right now, which also means that man failed. I haven't even met well in the series of Hawkeye yet, you know? because people must always move towards the future. Even if human weaknesses make them pause when they truly cannot. cannot move forward, humanity will eventually seek a way to save itself. And that man, he was never a failure. Like everyone in that world, he etched the possibilities of human nature into his heart. He was the sun chaser Icarus. of legend soaring towards the sky and embracing his final victory with his fall. He ascended to heights uncharted, only to come uh, face to face with the sun, a place not visited by anyone before. His wings would melt because of it, only for him to fall into the sea. And after that, countless others would surpass him soaring to even greater heights so now i don't know what happens to him at least but i still don't know who the others he's referring to is what he started a fitting metaphor for the nameless's trailblazing spirit thank you mr yang interesting i know what you wish to confirm the universe has innumerable similar yet different worlds in these worlds there are innumerable people who look alike yet don't I know what you wish to confirm. The universe has innumerable similar, has innumerable similar, yet different worlds. In these worlds, there are innumerable people who look alike yet don't. It's kind of crazy because you're one of them. I too have embarked on journeys, encountering old friends with familiar faces on different worlds, witnessing their destinies follow paths similar to mine. So I will tell you, 
even if not completely similar. The story you just told. It's music. It overlaps with my past. And within that abyssal dream. What? She just should have like referred to the multiverse. I ended that man's life. Alone. Another version of Kevin? <sighs> I am not who you think I am. Nor will my home be as fortunate as your world. I'm not May. I am sorry. It's fine. I don't mind, so long as I can alleviate your suspicions. There's something I still wish to know, Miss Acheron. Under that representation of the hunt, exactly what sort of power is it that has motivated your solitary journey thus far? Mr. Yang, before answering that question, I wish to continue the previous topic. Okay. I like your analogy very much. Indeed, birds are born to fly. But in a distant past, their ancestors could only gaze at the sky in envy. They saw that faraway ray of light from above the heavens, piercing through the clouds and blanketing the earth. And so, time and time again, generation after generation, the birds spread their wings and took to the sky, attempting to touch its ceiling, all because the sun was there. Then, what if the last bird finally soars into the sky, only to realize that the end of the light is not the sun, but darkness? Wow. Then why, exactly, do we even walk towards the light? That's so emo. That's, that was the craziest conversation I think we've had. That, that was an insane conversation. The music and everything. There's so many POVs in this this quest today. We got a Venturine over here. We got Black Swan, Acheron, Trailblazer. Long time no see. Having fun on Penacony. My favorite design in the game. Who is this? This voice. It's not Constance. Could it be her companion? Oh yeah, she's going through the memories. Though I don't know exactly what you are, or what you're up to, my bullets will find Boo you. Hell? Until then, you best find a casket store on Pinnacone and ask the owner to reserve a good quality casket for you. <laughs> He's so <imposter>. country. <laughs> Little Boot Hill cameo. The bullets is what gave it away. Imposter. I see. She gave my Yeehaw. whereabouts to someone who's tracking Acheron too. Hell yeah, brother. Who are you? Huh? Uh, did I make a mistake? <laughs> uh, who the heck are you? <laughs> I'm the Garden of Recollections memo keeper. <laughs> Not bad. This is the kind of tough challenge I like. You that imposter's bodyguard? <laughs> Never mind. It's fine. I'll leave around for you. So get that forehead clean and wait for me. Damn. So he's pissed because Akron is impersonating a Galaxy Ranger. She's not actually one, and he is. He's like, we gotta put some respect on the name. I don't know what you're talking about, but you know Akron, the Galaxy Ranger. Yes. I have something to ask you. <laughs> Are you asking me to write your will? Sure. Go ahead. I like his voice too. Not quite. I only want to ask, how exactly did she become a Galaxy Ranger? <sighs> She's clearly not a path strider of the hunt, but you are, aren't you? Tell me, what's Acheron's deal? What's her deal? This is... Oh my god, this is Russell. Uh, he's the same guy who played uh, Alberic. Uh, whatever his name. Kari Bear's father. Clothar Alberic in, in the Genshin Quest. Dude, I love that guy. <laughs> sure. 
Wow. Hey, never thought I'd come across an ally. What a stroke of luck. Wow, this voice sounds good for him. He killed this. Uh, well. <laughs> I'll be on Penacone soon. A uh, memo keeper. Go buy a bottle of his Donna's white oak and warm it up. And I'll raise a glass to you. He's also like married to or in a relationship with the VA of Navia. That lady's past. <laughs> well, nobody knows. But if all you want is a simple answer, sure. You best get a chair and take a seat. That woman named Acheron. Acheron. Is an emanator. Who should, should not exist. exist. What the fuck? What do you mean? What does it mean? Uh, POV you switch. Look pale or is that also part of your act <sighs> i didn't think you'd have the nerve to show yourself after selling me out knowing i got 17 hours to live what's your plan now mr ratio i thought this was exactly what you wanted after all i faithfully fulfilled my duties as you instructed just tell me if you can't hold on any longer this was a part of a plan so this is another gamble? The genius of the Council of Mundanites wants to be my undertaker now. <laughs> my. What. An. Honor. Yes. And I'm pretty sure part of the, plan. the people at the yeah, yeah. Strategic Investment Department would love to be notified of your death in due time. But let's not forget, you won't be seeing them. Because I'm the manager of this task. Okay. <laughs> Great. And then tell your people that Aventurine is ready to go in 17 system hours. Oh, you've got a lot of nerve. How it's exactly time do bomb. you plan on completing your task while your hands are tied by the harmony? Well, my conversation with Sunday convinced me that there's a traitor in the family. And that they hold the secrets of Penacone. So, I took the opportunity to set everything in motion. I even managed to recover the gift money. <laughs> Things haven't gone this smoothly since I walked through the doors of the reverie. Now I'm only one step away from victory. Let's just wait and see. Sounds like a very elaborate way of saying that you failed. You don't know how lucky Kaka is. Kaka's very lucky. <laughs> That's all I can say. Kaka's not lucky. Doctor, you betrayed me. Go. Do what you must. I look forward to the sight of the IPC fleet surrounding Panacone. You've achieved what you desired, haven't you? And what is that? That's true, but what's your plan? Did you conceal an orbital support beacon in that gift money bag? Well, who knows? Maybe that's why I'm handing out cash even when I'm about to bite the dust. He did give me 200k. You are indeed a gambler. An insane one at that. Well, maybe I am. Who knows? <laughs> okay, buddy. Who knows? Maybe I'm a gambler. Bro knows he's been blessed with luck. He knows what Fine. he is. Here, take this. Open it when you're on your last legs. You'll thank me. It's like a little ratio in a bottle. What's this? Medical advice? <laughs> oh, well. He's gone. <laughs> you catch on pretty fast, Doctor. It's just Viagra. <laughs> ah! Asking me to solve My the case head. without giving a single clue. How typical of you, you wing-headed scoundrel. But the way you're all on edge about that stowaway, <laughs> it's just as I guessed it would be. As for now, let the rain of wealth from the IPC fall evenly on everyone. Okay. We got to figure out what's going on here. Distribute gems and ask around for clues regarding the stowaway. Interesting how I have this thing around me at all times, too. Yo, what if I just stayed here for 17 full hours in game? Would I just die? 